Howard Stern Show. Okay, Bobo, here is your topic, and I'll send you to the green room with Proctor Alexandria. Tell us, in your own words, who you think is one of the most unethical people in history, and cite three examples why. Now, the person and examples must be historical and verifiable and not yeah, anecdotal. Yeah, not just some friend of yours. All right, the essay should be 750 words. You'll have 45 minutes to complete it. I don't even think he understands what you're doing. Do I don't. Do you have any questions? Smoke is coming from my head. You're going to have to write it down. His wig just popped off. All right, let me say it to you again, and we will write it down for you. Three unethical people? No. Tell no. us. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us in your own words yes. who you think who you think yeah. is one of the most unethical people in history. And cite three examples why this person is unethical. Okay? <laughs> because really this has to do with plagiarism in the sense that Ethics are in question. Yeah, you did something unethical. Am I right, Alexandria? Yes. It's, a, it's a reasonable question for a fifth grader. Definitely. Yeah. I, I taught a, a unit on logic and ethics, actually. You did? Yeah. Gee, I can't think of somebody. I'm trying to think, but nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. All right. So the person and the examples must be historical and verifiable, mm -hmm. not and anecdotal. Bobo, you have 45 minutes. Do you understand yeah. what I mean by not anecdotal? In other words, you can't say, oh, you know, I once met a guy who was like this. Is a, we want a historical person. That we can was, all verify what you're saying. Right. I already got the guy in my head. All right, good. All right. Now yeah. you're going to go, and you're going to go right. I don't know how much I can be 750 words on that. Hey, Bobo, oh. that's well, you the can task. Do it. You can do it. And I got to give three examples of it? Just yeah. one, Just one person. One person, three examples. Mm -hmm. This is so easy, Bobo. Okay. Really? It is. Bobo. Now you get in there and you kill it. And you get that A. At least get a D. That way you only just lose your name. Oh, at least this you can... is going to be a, oh, come a on. travesty. Gotta, Let me tell you what's at stake again. Oh, if no. you get the F, you lose the Bobo name, and you're off the air for three months. Good boy. And, and Paul, Paul gets Bobo. And Paul becomes oh, Bobo. Who's this Paul to get my name? He called in. He came in with the idea. Marianne from Brooklyn should have my name. She's no, the female I'm She's Marianne from Brooklyn. Now, she has a name. if you get a D. <laughs> can, yes. can we, could we give Marianne from Brooklyn number one superfan? Sure. If he gets an F? Well, I'd be terrific with that. He'd be okay with that. Oh, my best we don't want any more. That's no punishment. <laughs> no. Alex, if you leave the punishment to me, <laughs> you just proctor the test. Sure. It all hinges on the Bobo name. Right. If you get a D, what was it if he gets a D? I already forgot. I think it's a what? A three week ban? No, that's a C. Oh, no, get, Jason's got it. Jason's got it. Give it to me because I don't have it written down. If he gets a D, it's a two week ban and he loses the Bobo name. Oh, oh so ooh. even a D, you lose the Bobo okay. name. Yep, yep. He's got to get a C or better oh. not to lose the Bobo name. Bobo, oh. pay attention. My kids are. So, these. what is the C, guys? <laughs> Where'd they C go? C is just a two week ban. Okay, and a B or, uh, is B just is nothing. nothing and